Now, now, let me fix your hair properly. You young girls don't know how to fix your hair these days. Very well, Grandmother. Just don't stick in the pins in too tight this time. Where are we? This is such a cold place. In the best camping ground in Transylvania. Yes, joke, joke. But we have no right to be here. No right. The coach should have never broken down. Never. But surely you don't think we're in danger here. Danger. Think of it, Monica. That would be thrilling. It should have never broken down, I'm telling you. Unless I drove too fast coming up the Borgo Pass with those wolves pursuing us. I'll never forget the way their eyes blazed like red coals. Fascinating eyes. Four animals. You must not move so quickly. I had just gotten your hair right, foolish girl. I'm sorry, Grandmother. She has adopted me. The coachman is right. We should not make light of our situation. Then there is danger. Look at that castle high above us. Do you know who has lived in that castle for centuries? Ooh, tell us. It is the castle of Count Dracula. The same count who has terrorized the peasants along this countryside for generations. May his name be damned. You know him? Yes, I know of him. My neighbor's granddaughter went to work for him a year ago, and the other grandchild before that. They haven't heard a word from them since. Does that mean the Count still lives in his castle? No, he lives there no longer. He left for England a year ago, and no one has heard from him since. No one? Stop wiggling, silly goose. I'm sorry, Grandmother. There's something peculiar in this whole business. The coach was sound as a rock just before I picked up you three girls outside the village. It was just after sunset, wasn't it? Yes, after the sunset. Yes, there's something peculiar about it all. It was just a year ago that I made that crazy run up the Borgo Pass where the wolves live in packs as thick as the grass. A year ago that I dropped off an Englishman. Yes, just like yourself. An Englishman like myself. Fancy that. Yes, he stopped right here at the crossroads, disappearing up the road that leads to the castle. But surely you don't think I'm the same man? I don't know. The runs past these Count's castle have always brought bad luck. I never heard from that Englishman again, and shortly after the Count disappears, and now talk is he may be back, and us sitting like lambs for the sacrifice right under his castle. Is he back? And we're spending the night here at his doorstep. Isn't that thrilling, Cousin Monica? Fascinating. That wheel wasn't broken by accident. Someone took a pin out when we picked up you three misses. We were meant to break down. Break down right here, I tell you. No, no. There's no need to spread alarm prematurely. We don't need to interpret any design into our being here. Not yet. Don't fear. Greco will take care of you, my darlings. I'll get my wreath of garlic and protect you from the evil spirit. Funny old woman. Don't you think, Minna? A busybody. I don't like her. That wheel wasn't broken. Someone took a pin out of it and I'm gonna find out who. We were meant to stop here, I tell you. Excuse me, I have to go back to the coach for something. You're not leaving. Not until you've told us why you're here. Perhaps that would be best for all of us, under the circumstances. I'm on my way to my brother's wedding, and the same is true for my cousins, Lisa and Georgette. So you are cousins? How charming. It will be terrible if we don't reach Dukevina in the morning. Just terrible. And you, Doctor? Me? I'm a folklorist. I'm going around collecting the local peasants' legends, 
Particularly those related to their superstitions. It's no good, Van Helsing. I think they have a right to know. Ooh, is there more mystery? Do you agree? Yes, I agree. Mina? It doesn't matter. You're right, Coachman. I am the Englishman who came to Count Dracula's castle last year. You're alive? I don't think I want to hear this story anymore. Will you excuse me? Should I go follow her, Van Helsing? She is not yet. What do you think, Jonathan? Not yet. I hope you're right. You must excuse me now for leaving so abruptly. But she has her reasons. You see, the story I am about to tell you is eventually about her. So, Coachman, you have a good memory. One year ago, Count Dracula snatched me into the darkness. I ignored Dr. Van Helsing's warnings not to come here. I soon discovered that the Count was never meant for me to leave his castle alive. <sighs> I shall never forget the sight of him rising out of that coffin with that terrible smile on his face. I tried to kill him, but failed. He escaped. Little did I know then that showing him the photograph of my wife and her best friend Lucy when Storm would spell their doom. Yes, I did escape from Dracula's castle, but in so doing, I turned loose the greatest menace England has ever known. Dracula came to England during a great storm. He possessed poor Lucy, killed her and her mother. Then he terrorized the heart of London for months. Van Helsing and I tracked him down to his land, hopefully, but it was too late. He had left England and returned here to his castle in Transylvania, or so we believe. You had no right to expose us to such danger. It was not our intention to spend the night here. This is the very worst place we could be, but that is not the most horrible part of my tale. Ooh, do go on. Van Helsing and I were perfectly hunting down Dracula's coffin. When we got back, we heard screams. We ran into the house just in time to see Mina. Blood running down our throat and the Count, his red eyes flaming in triumph. We stood in shock as the Count escaped. Then, two days later, <sighs> tell them. Van Helsing, I can't go on. Lucy had gone to her grave the same way. I had to find out whether or not Mina was becoming a vampire. Her demeanor had changed. She was becoming schoolgirlish and childlike. Out of impulse, I had her wear a cross around her neck, and it branded her flesh. So, not only have you brought us to this hateful place, but your wife helped you plan it all. There is still hope. You see, the Count drains the blood from his victims slowly. They remain under his power, while he reserves the final feast of blood for a later time. There is a connection between the Count and Mina. There is an open channel of communication between the two of them. That is why we are here. Mina can lead us to the Count. He's calling. She knows this, and she is resisting us. With all of her. My God, Van Helsing, you don't think. Look, she is returning. We cannot let down our guard. Dracula could be near. He must have arrived before us. We've always been one step behind the count. Always. It was horrible. We could not find Greca. Then the wreath of garlic was on the ground. Then Greca was in the bushes. Her throat. Dear God, her throat! Torn open like an animal, and this is what did it, this thing. Look at her, staring at the blood. I can't help it. 
blood, it, it's so fresh, so... Do you hear her? We must drive a stake through her heart. She must be executed. Be careful. This is my wife you're talking about. You have no proof. Proof? Look at her staring at the blood like it was nurse's milk. She's nothing but a vampire harlot. This is no time for fighting. We must think. I don't believe Mina killed the old woman. Then you're as dangerous as she is. I know who pulled the pin out of the wheel. I know who committed the murder. That thing over there. I'm not staying another second. You're wrong, I tell you. Stay by the fire. You're safer here. I've got a rifle in the coach. That'll be enough protection. My responsibility to all of you is over. I'm not staying another second with that thing you call your wife. Let him go. We can do nothing for him now. Don't touch me. Mina. Mina. You heard what he called me. It's true. I saw her body lying in those bushes and I couldn't help myself. I had to feel the blood warm on my hands. You are not that far gone. There is still hope. Hope? I am branded by the cross. I am an outcast. How can you tell me there is hope? Listen to me, all of you. What happened to Greca cannot happen to any of us. We cannot succumb to the darkness. We must find out what we're up against. Mina, I must send you into a trance once more. Are you willing? Yes, Doctor. Relax. Close your eyes and relax. Think of numbers going backwards. Five. Count with me. Five. Five. Four. Four. Three. You see? Her lips move, but she does not speak. Where are you? I am free. No more water. No more gin by water. I am home. Is the master near? He... I command you to speak. They are near. Who are they? I command you to speak! Who are they? <laughs> Dr. Van Helsing. How funny you look. I command you to speak. Who are they? Why they, Doctor? They are all of you. Sisters. They're out there right now, in the woods. We must be careful now. More than ever. There's still time to undo us all. They are here, Mina said. Look, Jonathan. The sisters. They are here, among us. Oh, sister, we understand you. They do not come with us. Oh, sister, you are our kin. Oh, sister, come with us. Come with us. Who are you? Reveal your true identities. I was the daughter of the blacksmith. Then the master came to me in my innocence. I was the daughter of the mayor, and the master came to me in my innocence. I was the daughter of a farmer. I know no one but the master. Leave this place. You defile it. We will leave. For now. I will tell the master you are here, sister. Don't worry, sister. We'll be back. They've drawn a ring of terror around us. It's hopeless, Van Helsing. It is not hopeless. We can still survive. But we can't protect Mina. Those women. Wait here. There's something in the coach. But... Jonathan, I, I feel so weak. Where is the doctor? He'll be back. You've tried so hard to protect me, but you know what I am becoming. But you didn't kill Greca. There's still hope. I didn't kill her, but I watched. I came across Monica, bending down with a terrible smile over Greca's throat. She turned to me, blood dripping from her lips. Drink, sister, she said. Drink and become one of us. I almost did. I moved forward and touched the blood with my hands. I knew then it was a matter of time, perhaps hours even, before I become one of them. But you are still my Mina. Am I? Can you trust me? Can I trust myself? 
What is that? It will chain her to the cross. No, Jonathan, I can still be trusted. I can still control myself. You heard her. There is no other way. She's not an animal to be chained up. You saw the way she looked at Greca's blood. She didn't kill her, it was Monica. But the bloodlust is growing. We must protect Mina from herself. Jonathan, don't listen to her. Do not fight me. Jonathan! Undo the links, Jonathan, please. There's nothing I can do for you. Get me away from this thing. The very nearness of it revolts me. Cowards, scum, and you, my sweet husband. What are you? You have no courage, no daring. I don't love you. Do you hear me? I despise you. You don't know what you're saying. I know exactly what I'm saying. The Count attracts me. He is my master and you are a slave. Please, Jonathan, get me away from this thing. I don't think I can survive this nightmare in Helsing. You can, my friend. You can. Jonathan, darling, unchain me, my love. I won't look at you. Sweetheart, this is our chance to be together. Just turn and look at me. How I long to kiss you. You're not Mina. Jonathan. My dearest, how I long for you. You can be ours, and we can be yours. Love, an eternity of love. That's not love you're promising me. That's hell. Let us kiss you. Just one kiss. Let us hold you. You want to kiss me. Kiss you? How you long to hold me. Hold you? Undo her chains. Undo the chains. Undo the... No. No. That would be the end of Mina. I can't do that. I won't. Unchain her. You have no will left. No will of your own. You are my slave. You will do what I command. I know the power of your eyes to command. I will not look at you. I will not listen to you. In a few minutes, the sun will return. <laughs> In a few minutes, you will be dead. Get him. Drink, sisters. Drink. Give him a taste of what is yet to come, but leave him alive for the last possible moment. I want him to see his wife's yearning for me. The chain, Harker. Undo the chain. Mina? No. She will never be yours. Undo the chain. I want her. She is mine. She is my revenge. Undo the chain, slave. Master! We should go, the sun. I want final victory. They dared to follow me into my own country. I want complete victory over these fools. It's all my fault. At last, we meet. Yes, your powers are too great. We were fools to oppose you. So, the hunter of vampires has met her match. You've always been one step ahead of us. Always. I knew every move you would make. It was Monica who pulled the pin from the wheel. I wanted you here. Here in the crossroads. Here in my domain. You are the master. Your powers are too great. We cannot escape the hypnotic control. So, you admit your defeat. Master, the slave tricks you. 
The sun! Silence! I have waited years for this moment. The great scientist is at my feet. Repeat after me. I am a slave. I am a slave. I acknowledge my master. I acknowledge my master. I worship him. I worship justice and goodness and the Christian God of mercy, the sun, you fool! Master. Kill him! Kill the slave. Master, don't weaken. Don't kill him, he is my master. Don't kill him! Jonathan! Done. I don't think I'll ever speak to you again, Van Helsing. That's not fair, darling. Dr. Van Helsing was just doing what she had to do. You used us as bait. You deliberately lured Dracula and Mina. I had no other choice. I had to deal with him as ruthlessly as he dealt with us. He was a genius, but his diseased mind was driven by desire and passion for revenge. I played on his desire for Mina. He wanted his final victory, and in the end, that's what destroyed him. Well, you were wrong. There was no right nor wrong done here tonight. But perhaps some justice can be served. Look at their faces. The evil is gone. What a terrible price they paid, and Mina, it could have been you. Hush, darling. No more words. We must forget. I am free now, and I will learn to love again. Yes, Mina. We're all free. Free at last. <laughs>